Shalom, all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rechakodash. Double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Peace, safety, much love, and blessing to the Akim across the four corners of the earth that are pushing out this truth and truth and sincerity and putting their life on the line to do so. I want to say Shalom to you, brothers. I'm the brother of Rock, back in the spirit with another lesson. Lord willing, it be edifying. Um, and this article I have here on screen uh, is entitled Trump accuses protesters who tear down statues of wanting to wipe out our history in Mount Rushmore speech. All right. And this is from uh, the USA Today. And just dealing with the headline, you know, the history of America is atrocious, man. Why wouldn't you want that expunged or, uh, or wiped? you know from your uh from your history or your record so to speak that's how you know these devils that they're not um remorseful or they don't want to make things right for the things that they've done to our people which are the uh so-called negroes latinos and native americans now with a history like america has who wouldn't want that history erased who wants to be known as a, a as a robber a murderer uh, a rapist you know all of those things because th those are the things of violent those are the type of things or uh words that are tied to america uh america's history so this devil you know uh, uh dj hey man this is a this is a proud devil man you know uh, let me let me see if that picture is on this article <laughs> it, it, look at him look look how he posed in front of mount, mount rushmore that that's a proud devil man and he wants to make america great again but hey newsflash man america is never going to be great you know again so to speak all right now um i'm going to get a little bit of this article and i also have a video <laughs> that i want to play of, of, of what the guy said um in that speech that he gave at mount rushmore now um the history of america uh, like I said, you know, this this country was built on blood. You know, they shed the blood of of our of, a, of our uh, people, the so-called Native Americans. You know, um, which are you know stem from the the, uh, the Northern Kingdom of Israel. Okay, um, Gad, Reuben, uh, Simeon. You know, just to name a few. All right, those are our people, man, the Native Americans, and they should be more upset <laughs> that America is, is is boasting about their history more so than any other other tribes, man, and the so-called Negroes. But what Negroes going to do, man? Today is, what, the 4th of July? They're going to go out and, and, and put on the American flag and wear it proud, pop fireworks, you know, so on and so forth, because our people are ignorant, man. Our people uh, lack knowledge, you know, according to the scriptures. All right. Now, um, we're just reading a little bit. It says um, on the eve of Independence Day, President Donald Trump used a speech before Mount Rushmore on Friday to condemn protesters across the country for attacking monuments while announcing he would sign an executive order to establish a National Guard of American heroes. Now, here it is. Trump doesn't want to deal with the reason why these uh protesters are you know uh defacing these monuments and tearing these statues down he don't want to deal with the root problem he just look at look at it as if they need to stop man because he wants american heroes to be honored and what are american heroes man they are rape rob rapists robbers murderers you know um you name it slicksters um uh, uh deceiving the, the devils man when it when it all boils down to it he wants those type of people to be honored because he sees nothing wrong with the way america uh came into power okay so yeah let me uh play with this this devil said and then we'll deal with deal deal with the things that he said and and filter them through the scriptures you know because uh contrary to what he believes this country is, is going to shits quick man and when they think that they're about to you know overcome the things that they're going through uh such as this pandemic and 
you know, establishing uh, their new world order or whatever Esau has up his sleeve, they're going to be totally mistaken because the Lord is going to intervene, man. All right. There could be no better place to celebrate America's independence than beneath this magnificent, incredible, majestic mountain monument to the greatest Americans who have ever lived. Today, we pay tribute to the exceptional lives and extraordinary legacies of George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, and Teddy Roosevelt. Hey, hey, man, that's a proud devil, man. You know, he wants to honor these people that had a hand in uh, uh, butchering our people, man. He he wants to honor these people that had a hand in uh, enslaving our people and uh, this country being built off the blood, sweat, and tears of of the Israelites, you know, and there was no compensation, you know, there was no recompense for you know, the things that our people did for this country, but hey, it's coming. And it's coming in a in a in a big way, man. All right. Everything that these devils have done to our people is gonna be done back to them according to the scriptures, man. The, the scriptures tell you uh in one of the Thessalonians, I believe, that it is a righteous thing to recompense tribulation to those that trouble you, man. Okay? And these devils got it coming. The scriptures also tell you in Revelation, he that leadeth in kept he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity, all right? But these devils got it coming, man. I am here as your president to proclaim before the country and before the world, this monument will never be desecrated. These heroes will never be defaced. <laughs> hey, and that's where he wrong, man. If the protesters don't do it, hey, that monument is going to eat a missile, man, according to the scriptures, all right? So let, let's let's get get a couple of precepts, man, because <laughs> these devils just think they they getting off scot free, man. But the Lord has has other plans. Let's deal with, you know, <laughs> he's saying it's never going anywhere, you know, and so on and so forth. Let's see what the scriptures have to say, man. This is Psalms 49 and 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations they call their lands after their own names so this devil inward thought man is that america is going to be great again it's going to continue to flourish and, and thrive and, and be the uh the world's powerhouse um but it's not okay the inward thought is that that's going to happen but the lord has other plans man Okay. Let's see what the Lord plan is for this place, man. This is uh Job twenty and twenty two. In the fullness of his sufficiency he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. When he is about to fill his belly, the most house shall cast fury of cast the fury of his wrath upon him, and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. Okay, and how is the Lord's going to rain on these people parade, man? Thermal, thermal, thermal nuclear fire, man. Okay. It's going gonna, it's gonna to rain uh, uh, missiles, man. That monument that he stood so proud up there and made the speech with is going to be missile food. All right. That shit is going to be, it's, shit is going to be desecrated, man. Into, into powder, man. In the smallest form that you can think of. That's how much heat is going to come on this place, man. So all that, it never be the face. America this, America that, man, it's total bullshit. Their legacy will never, ever be destroyed. Their that, that statement right there lines up perfectly with Psalm 49 and 11, man. His inward thought that this place is going to continue forever. He said it'll never, never, ne Trump, come on, bro. We'll see. Achievements will never be forgotten. And Mount Rushmore will stand forever as an eternal tribute to our forefathers and to our freedom. Our founders. It's a proud devil, man. Let's deal with the scriptures. Let's see what uh, 
is in, is in store for these devils, man. This is Obadiah. Uh, I start at the top. Uh, the vision of Obadiah thus said the Lord power concerning Edom and who are Edom, the so-called white man. All right. We have heard a rumor from the Lord and an ambassador is sent among the heathen Araji and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. The pride of thine heart have deceived thee. <laughs> hey, Trump, Obadiah 1 and 3, man. The pride of thine heart have deceived thee. Thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock, that big ass monument he's standing behind, man. That's where your people came from, man, out of Caucasus Mountain, man. And they moved down and, and, and built up, you know, but the Lord is going to tear down, okay? It said, whose habitation is high that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Verse 4, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. And what's America's uh, national bird, man? The bald eagle, okay? All of these things are not uh, a coincidence, man. All of this is orchestrated uh, through, through Yahweh Shimei Shai, and it's beautiful, man. Because we know we got the scoop on this deal. We know what's going on. We know what's going to happen to this place, man. It says, Thou that exalt thyself as the eagle, and thou that set thy nest amongst the stars, thence will I bring thee down, save the Lord. So you're going to be brought down, okay? You proud Americans. You know? Uh, one more precept, man. I'm going to close it out. Uh, Isaiah uh, 66 and 15. This is how this monument that he so proudly uh, boasting about him standing in front of him. Not only that mountain, but all this shit, man, in America. This is how it's going out, man. Okay? Isaiah 66 6 and 15. For behold, the Lord come with fire. Will it select you? Uh, Isaiah 66 6 and 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger. So the Lord ain't coming back <laughs> on no peace treaty, man. It said the Lord is coming back to render his anger with fury and, re and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. All right. So that's a news flash, man, to you proud Americans. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying, giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash, Shalom.